Well, hey everyone. Well, if you are looking to improve money flow in your life, then you are in luck. This video is so very important. So, for make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel now. So, whether you want to earn more money or manage your money better or even invest better, you will love this episode. Now, there are a number of great books out there that can help you. But in this video, I will discuss five books that can help you earn more money and get onto the path of financial success. Whether you are just starting out or have been struggling for years, well, these books can provide the guidance and motivation you need to change your life. So, what are you waiting for? Let's start watching. Hi, I'm Sharish Gupta, and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges, and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. Well, hey everyone, welcome to the brand new episode of Living Extraordinary Podcast with me, Shirish. And today, I will talk about this amazing thing called money mindset and how you can earn more money in life by developing your money mindset. One important thing, if you want to live your best life, I would highly recommend you to sign up for my extraordinary newsletter and I will send you highly valuable content every week. And if you are someone who is not very active on your email, you can still sign up with your phone number and we will send you all the highly valuable content right on your phone. And yes, we don't spam or share your contact details with everyone. So it's just all the value, value and more extraordinary value for you. In this video, I will first talk about what money mindset is and why is it really important? After that, I will share the top five books that can absolutely change your money life, giving you more money and more importantly, a strong money mindset that will always make sure of abundance in your life. So what exactly is money mindset? Well, it is actually like this. Well, it's either a glass half full or glass half empty. It's your perception and belief. So a money mindset is a set of beliefs, usually our subconscious, that you have about money. It's how we think and how we feel about money, which in turn affect our actions and decisions regarding it. Now, there are different types of money mindset. Some people have scarcity mindset, believing there's never enough to go around. It's like class is half empty. Others have abundance mindset, believing that they can earn more money and grow their wealth. And it's like glass is half full. Well, if you have a scarcity mindset, it can hold you back from achieving your financial goals. But if you have an abundance mindset, it can motivate you to take action and make positive changes in your life. Also, a strong money mindset is important for having a great financial life. It is the only way for you to earn more money and enjoy more money. So if you're struggling with money or if you want to be better with money, be it earning, budgeting or saving or even investing, you must work on developing your money mindset. Super important. Now, the top five books that have helped me change my money mindset and improve my relationship with money are right here. Now, the first book on the list is this. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Yes. Well, this is really a classic book about money and it has helped millions of people achieve their financial goals. It's a must read for anyone who wants to improve their money mindset and start earning more money. It is one of the most popular books when you Google it actually. So Think and Grow Rich is a classic book on mindset and money by Napoleon Hill. The book teaches how to change your mindset around money so that you can start to attract it into your life. Now Hill teaches how to think like a millionaire and how to use visualization and affirmations to achieve your goals. Now, I'm a big fan of visualizations. So this book is full of inspiring stories and it's a must read for anyone looking to improve their money mindset. So in short, it teaches that if you want to be successful, you need to think like a rich person. You need to have faith in yourself and your ability to achieve your goals. The book also teaches the importance of setting goals and taking action towards your goals. Now, this book further teaches how to handle money once you have it. Super important. Well, it talks about how to use the money, save, invest and spend money wisely. 
The book also teaches the importance of giving back. Overall, this is a great book for anyone who wants to improve their money mindset. If you want to learn how to be more financially successful, this is the book for you. And this book is really good for teaching students about money as well. Now, the second book is this, Millionaire Fast Lane by MJ DeMarco. Well, if you're looking for more modern take on improving your money mindset, then check out this book, The Millionaire Fast Lane. This book is full of actionable advice that can help you start earning more money and achieve your financial freedom. Now, this book debunks the common myths around how to become a millionaire and instead provides a roadmap for achieving financial freedom. DeMarco teaches that the key of becoming a millionaire is to create value for others. And that's the key to this book, to create value for others. Again, it is a mindset shift about adding value to others. This book provides actionable steps for building a business and achieving financial independence. Absolutely must have. Now, the third book is this, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Yes, well, this was the, probably the first book that I've read on the subject of money. Now, Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a book that discusses the different mindsets between the rich and the poor. The rich mindset is one that focuses on learning about money and how it make to work for them. While the poor mindset is one that largely ignores money and focuses on other things. Now this book provides advice on how to change your mindset and become more financially successful. One thing I really liked about this book is to build more assets than your liabilities. So for example, if you want to buy a car, then don't buy off your EMI, work hard, Create an asset that can pay you enough to cover for your EMI for that liability. Now, by doing this, you have built an asset for yourself and then that asset is paying for your car, which is the liability. Well, this has really helped me to see things differently. And I'm now constantly looking to build assets that can pay for my lifestyle. Yeah, I have assets for all my liabilities now. Now, this book discusses money, mindset, and how to earn more money. It is a popular book that has been read by millions of people all around the world. The book has helped people to change their mindset about money and how to earn it. Now, this book is full of useful tips and advice and how to make money. It is an easy read and a great resource for anyone who wants to learn more about money. In short, this book is about money, money, money and how to get it. How does one go about making money? Having the right mindset and being willing to work hard are the keys, says Robert Kiyosaki. That was the third book. The next book is called The Science of Getting Rich by Walters. Now, Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Walters is another classic mindset book that teaches how to attract money and wealth into your life. Well, Walters teaches that the key to getting rich is to focus on what you want and to take action towards your goals. Important. Well, he provides a step-by-step -step guide for using the power of thought to attract wealth and success. Yeah, power of thought. Now, this book explains that there is a science of getting rich and it is possible for everyone to achieve wealth. To do so, one must think and feel abundance and take action towards their goal. This book provides practical steps on how to manifest money and create financial success. It is really an insightful dream for anyone who's looking to improve their relationship with money. Now, this book, The Science of Getting Rich, also teaches how to handle money once you have it, yeah. It also, it's not just about the mindset, but how to keep and grow your wealth. The book has a lot of good tips on how to make more money. If you want to improve your relationship with money, now this is a great book for you, right? Now, the fifth book is this, very popular, The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel. The Psychology of Money is a book about, well, the psychology of money. And the author dives into how our mindset around money affects our lives and financial decisions. Well, it is most read these days. And I absolutely left this book. This is the most recent. It talks about, it debunks about the basic myths of the money. And it has a lot of stories and teaching important concepts through stories is really super amazing in this book. That's what I love. One of the most interesting things about the book is how it dwells into the history of money and how that has shaped our mindset towards it. 
For example, did you know that during the Great Depression, that is before the World War, people would rather have a bag full of money than a house? Yeah, but now the things have changed. So mindset around money is something that is constantly changing and it is important to stay up to date with it. This book does a fantastic job for me. If you're looking to improve your relationship with money, I highly recommend The Psychology of Money. The book is incredibly eye-opening and really makes you think about your own relationship with money. Yeah, think about it. So yeah, these were the five books. Now, mindset is one of the most important things to have when it comes to money and in general for your success. Our mindset around money can affect our financial decisions and how we handle money. And these five books that I've talked about in this video are all great resources for improving your mindset around money. They provide insights into how to attract wealth, how to think like rich, and how to handle money once you have it. And that is super important for me. If you are looking to improve your relationship with money, I highly recommend reading at least one of these books. Ideally, I want you to read all of these books. Well, I probably started with this Rich Dad Poor Dad. So hop on and start with that or any other book that you may like. And this is very popular these days, The Psychology of Money. So if you want to read, start with this. Well, I hope this episode of Living Extraordinary has helped you in some way. If you have any questions, feel free to put a comment and you can also send me a message on my Instagram or my social media and I'll do my best to answer them. And yes, as always, I want you to be successful and I want you to live a financially successful life. And it all starts with your mindset right here. I wanted to share these five books that have changed my financial life for good. And I'm sure they will for you as well. 